Here we have to solve the pair of simultaneous equations. 3x plus y is equal to negative 1 and 4xy is equal to negative 8. So first I'll label my equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Now equation 1, the 3x plus y is equal to negative 1, is a linear equation. Now terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So the 3x is one term and the y is another term. Now on the term 3x, I only have one variable and the highest power of that variable is 1, meaning this is x to the power of 1. And the other term is simply y, and this is y to the power of 1. So the highest power on this variable is 1. And that makes this equation 1 a linear equation. Now in equation 2 where we have 4xy, this is considered to be only one term because terms are separated by plus or minus signs. And there are no plus or minus signs separating anything here. So this is just one term. So yes, the variable x, the highest power is 1 because this is x to the power 1 and this is y to the power 1. So the highest power on this variable y is 1. But because you have x multiplied by y, you have two variables being multiplied by each other. This would not be a linear equation. Therefore, equation 1 is your linear equation and equation 2 is your non-linear equation. So seeing that we have one equation being linear and the other one being non-linear, we'll have to use the method of substitution. Whenever you're using the method of substitution and you have a linear equation and a non-linear equation, you will use the linear equation to transpose for either x or y. So I'll be using equation 1. So equation 1 reads 3x plus y is equal to negative 1. Because I have this y by itself, this is 1y, it will be easier to transpose for this y. So I'll take the positive 3x and transfer it across the equal sign and the sign in front of it will change from positive to negative. So I'll have y is equal to negative 1 take away 3x. And this will be my equation 3. Now that I've used my linear equation to transpose for y, I'll substitute this equation 3 into the non-linear equation. So I'll substitute equation 3 into equation 2 because equation 2 is our non-linear equation. So equation 2 reads 4xy is equal to negative 8. So I'll be replacing the y here with negative 1 take away 3x. And remember this means 4 multiplied by x multiplied by y. So I'll have 4x and I'll replace the y with negative 1 take away 3x. That's equal to negative 8. So this means 4 multiplied by x multiplied by negative 1 take away 3x. So this is an expansion. So I'll multiply 4x by negative 1 and I'll get negative 4x. Then I'll multiply 4x by negative 3x and I'll get negative 12x squared. And that's equal to negative 8. Now when I look at this equation, I'm seeing a term in x squared, a term in x and a constant. So I would recognize that this is a quadratic equation. So I'll write the negative 12 x squared first. Then I'll write the negative 4x. Then I'll transfer this negative 8 across the equal sign. And the sign in front of it will change from negative to positive. So I'll get positive 8 is equal to, and nothing will remain on this side of the equal sign, so I'll put a 0. So now I have a quadratic equation to solve. Now you can use any method to solve it, whether it be factorization, completing the square, or using the quadratic formula. So I'll choose to use the quadratic formula. So my a would be equal to negative 12, my b would be equal to negative 4, and my c would be equal to positive 8. So just remember your coefficient of x squared is a, the coefficient of x is b, and your constant is c. So the quadratic formula reads x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared take away 4ac all over 2a. So I'll put in my values now. So I have x is equal to negative b and b is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared which should be negative 4 squared take away 4 times a and a is negative 12 times c and c is 8. 
all over 2 times a and a is negative 12. So looking at this negative sign multiplied by negative 4, we'll get positive 4. So I'll have x is equal to positive 4 plus or minus the square root of and negative 4 squared will give you positive 16. We have negative 4 by negative 12 and that will give us positive 48 and positive 48 by 8 is 384. So that'll be positive 384. And then we divide all that by 2 times negative 12 which will be negative 24. So all over negative 24. So now 16 plus 384 is 400. So I'll have the square root of 400 divided by negative 24. Now we will call the square root of 400 which is 20. So we'll have x is equal to 4 plus or minus 20 all over negative 24. So now we'll deal with the plus or minus signs. So we'll have either x is equal to 4 plus 20 divided by negative 24 or x is equal to 4 take away 20 divided by negative 24. So we'll in this one first. 4 plus 20 is 24. So we'll have x is equal to 24 divided by negative 24 and that will give you x is equal to negative 1 because we have positive 24 divided by negative 24. So you divide a positive and a negative, your answer is negative. On this side, we have 4 take away 20, and 4 take away 20 is negative 16. So we'll have x is equal to negative 16 divided by negative 24. Now we know 8 can go into 24 three times, and 8 can go into 16 two times. And we also have a negative divided by a negative, so that will give a positive answer. So we have 8 into 24, which is 3, and 8 into 16, which is 2. So we'll have x is equal to 2 thirds. Now we got two answers for x, and we can substitute them back into any of the three equations. Now equation 3 will be our best choice because we are already transposed for y. So for this first one, I'll substitute x equal negative 1 into equation 3. So I'll write substitute x equal negative 1 into equation 3 and equation 3 reads y is equal to negative 1 take away 3x so I'll have y is equal to negative 1 take away 3x so this would be negative 3x which would be negative 3 multiplied by x so that'll be negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 and that will give you positive 3 so you'll have negative 1 plus 3 so the answer will be 2. So I'll write that out. y is equal to negative 1 take away 3 times negative 1. So we'll have y is equal to negative 1 and negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So we get plus 3 and negative 1 plus 3 will be 2. So we'll have y is equal to positive 2. Now we look at this other value for x. So I'll write substitute x equal to 2 thirds into equation 3 and we know equation 3 reads y is equal to negative 1 take away 3x so where the x is we replace it with 2 thirds so I'll have y is equal to negative 1 take away 3 times positive 2 thirds this means negative 3 over 1 multiplied by 2 thirds so we'll have y is equal to negative 1 take away 3 over 1 multiply by two thirds. So clearly this three will cancel with this three. So one times two is two and one times one is one. So we get two over one. So the answer we get here will just be two. So we'll have y is equal to negative one take away two. So we'll have y is equal to. So negative one take away two. We'll add and keep the negative signs and we'll get negative three. So we have y is equal to negative 3. So these will be our answers when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 2, or when x is equal to 2 thirds, y is equal to negative 3.